Hi guys, Daniel here uh, again. Uh, welcome to another update videos from uh, Rider Zen. In today's videos, I will be sharing with you a couple of new updates. Um, one is a minor one, and some uh, and another one is a, a pretty exciting one, which I think many of you have been uh, looking for. So let's start with a minor update. So uh, on in Content Creator, the first uh, minor update is uh, actually in the way you interact with our SERP view. So we have updated um, now when you turn on the SERP view. You simply just do a single click on the left uh, mouse uh, to, in order for you to add onto your outlines. And in order to access our AI, simply right click on it and you'll be able to see all of our um, AI templates that are available for you. We also change uh, the icon of our AI to our new design, our AI uh, system. So um, that's the first, make it a bit easier and, and more um, intuitive for you to, to work on building your outlines. Um, the second thing uh, when it comes to, uh, to this, the update today is a little bit more, more exciting, obviously. And that is the uh, development of our newest uh, segment of, of keyword research is called Wildcard Search. So Wildcard Search, as many of you know, are one of a search operator that Google, advanced search operator that Google provide. When you're trying to look for um, keyword with very specific search intent. So the way it works is that you will search a keyword with a asterisk, uh, star asterisk. And uh, Google suggests will essentially fill in that gap. For example, um, let me see if I can do it here. So let's say you have a keyword, how to star Toyota. Um, it will show you and it will automatically fill in the keyword in the middle. For example, how to start Toyota. You'll be able to see how to reset Toyota Camry maintaining line, how to start Toyota Camry. Um, so all of this stuff. So imagine if you, let's say you have a, a, a car maintenance blog and you uh, write mainly about how to maintain different type of car. And uh, one of the things you always wonder is that what topic do people actually look up, to, look to when it comes to um, the guidance uh, content or knowledge, uh, specifically on Toyota Camry, for example, right? And um, you have no clue uh, how what people are searching for or how many things there is. So this is like a deeper layer when it comes to to planning your 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 content because you want to know, um, you know that you will be writing about the knowledge base of your of of Camry as a car, but you don't know where to start. And so maybe one section you will start by writing about all of the how to guide. Uh, another section will be about all of the uh, do and don't, um, something like that. So this will be extremely helpful for you to look for keyword that are stuff like this because it's go directly with um, the search intent, the final search intent, which is very specific of, of, of the end users. And so today we introduce you uh, Wildcard Search. You can do simply click how to star Toyota Camry. Uh, let me do it. Let me do the search. All right, United States, English, simply click search. And um, right away, you will be introduced with a well, keyword uh, data dashboard. Uh, what you see, first of all, is the total keyword that you will bring down. And we break this list of keyword into uh, three different kind of segments. First is exact match. Exact match means that um, it, it match exactly with how the keyword are structured. How to fill in the blank and then Toyota Camry. So as you can see, how to check my Toyota Camry, how to start, how to unlock, how to turn on, how to bleed cooling system, um, all these things that's exact match. Second thing is almost match. Almost match means that you will, we will actually have keyword that maybe uh, fill in afterward as well. So how to reset Toyota Camry, maintain in life, how to start Toyota Camry with key, how to start Toyota Camry without key. So these are all of the list of keywords that are that are, um, how do you say, um, sort of like almost match. So it does not match exactly like the one you asked, but it also uh, related very heavily with exactly what you try to, your, your, your intention. And lastly, is similar. Similar are the keyword which uh, have actually the similarity in terms of semantic meaning with the keyword that you were trying to look for. So you can see here how big Toyota Camry gets tang, how many, so it's not how to anymore, but um, it contained those kind of keyword. So we show you also this type of keyword that we call, that we align in here. 
So um, what, the cool thing about this is that once you kind of dissect about all these keywords, you start to form um, a very intentional picture of how the the, the, the intent of, of your end users will be they are looking for. Um, right. So from here, you could actually form your content to write about uh, building on this by uh, integrating with our cluster uh, features. So what you could do here simply is, let's say you want to do with all the keywords that exact match and almost match, or you can just do total, total and select all and then click cluster selected and create the project, go all the way there. And I, did, I already did a project for you. So um, it will look something like this. So let's say how to star tutorial camry this is a total 641 keyword selected and it will bring down bring to you this and this would be a perfect list of article that you want to target um uh with all of the how-to guide for the toyota camry uh in your blog right you see that how to reset Toyota camry then you can write one article about this uh one article about this and as you can see the total keyword search volume here is about 8480 um, it's a very good amount of volumes um, you can cover. So scroll down, you'll be able to see just a list of, of endless possibility. So that's the cool thing when you integrate with our tool. Um, let's go to another um, example. So say you have an ed educational blog, right? And um, what you are trying to do is uh, you write a guide about how to work with an essay. So let's say um, you want to write about everything when it comes to essay writing. And one of the part in which you want to focus on is you want to write a series of blog posts about the how-to of it. Right? I just like to do a how-to because how-to typically typically a very good keyword for you to as as a as a uh, as a guide guideline sort of content, uh, and it helps greatly for you to uh, de uh, decide that. So let's go back to keyword wildcard here, and I already did a search for how to star essay. So let me type in here to make how to star essay click search um, and instantly you will have about 2165 keyword in which you have 955 exact match um, 928 uh, almost match 281 keywords similar so same thing you can then cluster this and so that you could define what are the topic out of all this topic of the how-to that people search on the internet, um, what are the topic that you can group them together and start executing on your on, on your article article writing? And I already again I already did a, a cluster all, and I already did a project for you, um, and it will it will look something like this. So how to start essay, and as you can see here, the cluster already appear, and from here. You'll see how to write as essay. Um, I think that's the that's the keyword that people probably get wrong. It's supposed to be right to write an essay. It's the it's the grammatically incorrect. So how to start? How to write an argumentative essay? Um, as you can see, a lot of these keywords are already well grouped together for you. How to write an application essay? How to short an essay? So instantly, you have all of the topic you can explore. Um, just purely on the guide topic, so guide guide direction, right? Um, and this this will give you endless possibility of, of exploring another layer of, of content that you want to you want to achieve. So um, just make sure that beyond you know before you do this, make sure you have the structure that are in ready, so that when you when you write all this article, you will be able to internal link them together and also internal link them to. The main topic that you are trying to target and the main topic should also link to a higher topic so subtopic go into subtopic go to subtopic go to all the article whatever it is make sure the structure is clear um and it's well connected and that's how you uh get more ideas uh using waka search so thank you very much uh and i hope you enjoyed this update uh and i'll see you guys in uh, our next uh, update videos Bye.